Good evening guys. I've had a, another email tonight, in fact I, I get quite a few emails on this subject about the Office 2016 click to run installer that you can download from Office 365. Now of course if you just run it from the Office 365 portal it'll download Office for you every single time that you install it which is not ideal. If you've got to install it on a lot of machines or you want to auto deploy it that, that's not ideal. Now fortunately there is a way to do it You're using a click to run installer and the office deployment tool. For whatever reason it seems that people seem to have a fair number of problems with this. Now part of the issue I have with this is usually when I get emails about it it tells me that it doesn't work but it rarely gives me any detail as to what's not working. So I thought what we could do is actually have a look at the process from start to finish and I can show you how easy it is. Then, if you do have any problems, drop me a line and I'll see if I can give you a hand. But, but you need to be a little bit more descriptive with actually what your problem is. So let's have a look at it on a, on a fresh build Windows 10 machine. Here we are with our freshly built Windows 10 machine. It's a 64-bit unit. I haven't really done much to it. It may have had Windows Update running on it. So what we're going to do is actually download the Office package first and then I'll show you how to deploy it. The first thing you'll need is the Office Deployment tool. Now, I've, I'll put a, a link to it down in the description. There's a lot more information on the Office Deployment tool about all the specifics of the configuration. I'm not going to go into that level of detail. I'm just going to show you how the process works. So what I'm going to do is install the ODT, which is here. It's going to ask me for a place to put it. Now, I'm going to put it on the C drive here. I'm going to create a new folder called Office. And there you go, you'll see that it's extracted the files. Now I suspect this might be partly where people are going wrong. If we go look at it, you'll see in our folder we've got setup, which intuitively I think people double click and expect it to do something, which it doesn't. And then there's a couple of XML files. So let's have a look at those XML files. So let's look at the 64-bit one. So what you'll see in here is a sample configuration file for the office deployment that you want to deploy. Now I won't go through it in any great detail but because there's a lot more de detail about it on the, the actual website but essentially what you need is this file configured for your deployment environment. You can see in this edition here we are getting the office 64-bit version. It's office 365 plus retail. We're also including Visio in this package as well and you can see some options down here about the updates enabled uh, and also the display level if you want to do that and also the auto activate now bear in mind if you want these to happen you have to remove the comments piece so let's do that for updates i'm not going to do it for the display level and everything like that so once we've got that we're going to save it as a file i'm going to short, uh, call it something a bit simpler so let's do this basically because I don't want to have to type in that big long file name. So I'm going to save it and I'm just going to call it configure. There we go. Now at this point we can't really use this. What we need to do is pop into an elevated DOS prompt. There we go. We're going to pop into that office directory and in there you'll see that configure but you'll see that it's got the wrong uh, extension it's got text so I'm just going to rename that so instead of text it's got the correct XML now this is the bit I think that seems to be tripping people up what you need to do for this package first is download the whole package and there's a command line to do that and then there's a separate command line to actually do the implementation so let's first do the download now the command to download is as follows it's pretty easy we're going to do setup forward slash download, who knew? And then just that name of that XML file that we've just made. So it's configure.xml. Now what that package, what that is going to do is go off and download our Office 365 package. So let's watch it do that. we're done fortunately I've got a fairly decent internet connection so that doesn't take long at all now if we look at this folder just look at the size of it you'll see there it's downloaded about 2.7 gig all we've done now is downloaded that package what we haven't done is actually deployed it now the way we deploy it is from that same elevated prompt 
but instead of download, we use configure. So it's set up, configure, and then the name of your XML. That's all there is to it. There we go, we're all done. So you can see that we're all done. We should be able to fire up uh, the apps that you want. You can see them at the top there. There's Word, there's Visio, there's Outlook. Job done. Now there are various options around auto activation, all kinds of stuff in the XML file that you can configure. But have a look at um, the website around the office deployment because there are some pretty decent instructions there around what you can do to that XML file to actually make this deployment unique to you. Now, of course, if you want to deploy this to multiple machines, well, this is the package that you need to deploy. Now, obviously, you can get rid of those two example XMLs if you want to. I'll do that. And all you need is that folder, the office deployment tool, and your configuration XML. Now, be careful if you start putting uh, paths in the uh, XML because that can cause you issues. Sometimes it doesn't seem to be as reliable for me as... as as leaving the office deployment tool to work out that it's it's deploying from the current directory for example but yeah okay so i hope that helped but if you do run into specific issues let me know what they are and i'll be curious to have a look at them because like i say I, i've used this a ton of times and it, it's a great utility and, and makes creating little installer packages so much easier mm -hmm.